I wonder what beach Kazuchika Okada is going to move to. Very cloudy day if you're a New Japan professional wrestling fan. New Japan pro wrestling fan, that is, and don't have much interest in anything else outside of that. You're losing Kazuchika Okada, at least as a full-time roster member. For those of you who've been hiding under a rock or something like that, New Japan issued a statement this morning saying, or late last night, I should say, early in the morning Japanese time, saying we apologize to fans for the abrupt nature of this announcement, but join them in wishing Okada the very best in his future. As the new beginning series this weekend, Okada will appear on February dates on February 11th in Osaka and February 23rd and 24th in Sapporo. And then changes, uh, talked about changes, Changes to upcoming shows. Following that up, Okada, they issued a statement with Okada as Filthy Tom Waller chokes out here and coughs in the background. I have nothing but gratitude for having been a part of New Japan Pro Wrestling since 2007 and for New Japan bringing me from a 19-year-old kid off the plane in Mexico to the rainmaker I am today. Thank you to the best of companies in New Japan, to the best of opponents that I've been able to face here, and to the best of fans that have cheered and booed over the years. I promise to make it rain in every match I have left. So keep watching. This obviously is the biggest story of the day, and we are going to get into as much of it as we possibly can. Myself and Filthy Tom Lawler, as well as WWE SmackDown tonight, live on Fox, and a whole lot more. We'll be back, Wrestling Observer Live. Welcome back to the show. Mike Semper VV and Filthy Tom Lawler here with you. You know, we do this show right here for an hour at a time, but if you want us 24 7, you can find me on. Twitter slash X at SemperVivi. I do have accounts on Hive and Blue Sky and Threads and Instagram. And you can follow me there. I just don't use any of them. Brian's here on Twitter at Brian Alvarez. Filthy is at Filthy Tom Lawler. The timeline for this show is at WONF4W. And the broadcaster is at Sports Byline USA. I'd also like for you to make the wrestling news part of your day. Everything you need to know to get your day started, get you up to date, or get you to your favorite wrestling review pod, like Dave and Brian on Wrestling Observer Radio. Each episode of the wrestling news is between 5 and 15 minutes long every day, 365 days a year. No clickbait, no speculation, no rumors, just the wrestling news. Find it wherever you get your podcasts or head on over to thewrestlingnews.com and at Wrestling News AV on Facebook and Twitter. Filthy, I, I was going to go on a little rant here and I was going to ask you to, 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 to give me a little bit of time here so I can talk a little bit about Kazuchika Okada here. But the way you are, you are chomping at the bit to come on, and by chomping at the bit, I mean coughing. Are you okay right now, sir? <laughs> I may have, I may have picked something up from you, Mike. I was gonna say, do you need any of the cough medicine with codeine whoa, over whoa, here? Whoa, that's... whoa, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I should be drinking that on air. Hey, the floor is yours. If you want to talk about Kazuchika Okada, well, I just the... I, I just want to bring up a little bit here, and then we we got the entire show to get into, and obviously, I definitely want your perspective, you know, on this, but. You know, to kind of set this up for everybody, you know, the departure of Kazuchika Okada from New Japan is something that's been coming seemingly for quite some time now, but it's still shocking now that we're actually here. There has never been a wrestler to leave the country of Japan while still on top and announce that they're becoming a full-time member of the North American promotions roster, you know, whether it be WWE, WCW, or now AEW. Okada's 36. Shinsuke Nakamura was about 36 or 37 years old in 2016 when he came over and signed with WWE. And he was a big, big star still, but Nakamura had slipped behind Okada and Tanahashi and Naito and Omega and other people. And he basically, when he left, said that there is really nothing more that, that I can give New Japan. And he was actually right about that. I, I believe that he was right about that. This version of Okada that we have right now is still number one, not only in New Japan, but for the entirety of Japanese professional wrestling. And unlike Nakamura, I believe that Okada still had a lot more to give to New Japan. The problem is, whatever it was that Okada had to give to New Japan, they either couldn't or wouldn't know what to do with it. And they have proved that all throughout 2023. And that may not be everyone's opinion, 
but it's mine, and I know I'm not the only one with it. And there have been rumblings and discussions of discontent in New Japan for quite some time when it came to certain talents, and whether that be native or foreign, and that's for a variety of reasons. It's not just one thing. And it's been going on all year, and it's been going on longer than that for some. And other than stardom's rash of injuries, the biggest story in the second half of the year in Japan has been Okada's contract status. And in December, the news surfaced that Okada had taken on Barry Bloom as his agent. And to me, that was the key sign that he was leaving. At the absolute least, and this is at the least, it was a warning shot by way of a bazooka to New Japan that he had one foot out the door. And that shot came on the heels of Will Ospreay deciding to join AEW full-time. It came amongst the midst and during the midst of the rumors that Julia would also be exploring her North American options, and that still seems to be the case. And then last week it was reported that Okada had filed a U.S. patent and trademark claim on the word Rainmaker, just to kind of, you know, basically give some more that he was going to be leaving. So when you combine all of those things with the departures in the last 18 months of not only Osprey, but Katsuyori Shibata and Jay White and Juice Robinson and Carl Anderson and Kyle Fletcher and Mark Davis and almost losing the Tongans and now still possibly, possibly losing the Tongans again. And the fact that New Japan had a real shaky 23 when it came to establishing feuds and angles, and they haven't exactly, you know, had a great spark to, to begin 2024. I know New Japan fans are feeling some kind of way right now. And immediately after Observer Live, I'm going to be joining my friend Adam Summers and recording a brand new Adam and Mike Big Audio Nightmare, which is available for members of WrestlingObserver.com that's going to touch much deeper on Okada's departure and issues that are taking place within New Japan Pro Wrestling. But that was, you know, enough rant right there. And, you know, I don't want to get too deep into the weeds on some of the issues that New Japan has had and some of the reasons that he could be leaving because there's still a lot that we can touch on, not the least of which is, uh, where's he going? Now that we know that he's out of, of Japan, where is he going to be going? And... At some point, Tom is going to be coming back, and I'm going to pose that question to him. But AEW, Tony Khan has already tweeted that 2024 was going to be a good year. Put up a a reference to The Wire, which I don't I don't know if that was necessarily the best reference to put up. But I'll say this: if AEW does sign Okada, I mean, this is the perfect opportunity if you wanted to use something from The Wire to have the whistle going in the background and uh Okada's coming, and and you do something you know along those lines, <laughs> you know. If, if, and it seems to be that AEW is the front runner right now when it comes to getting Okada's services. Again, not only Tony Khan's tweet, Dave has wrote about it in the newsletter as well. Does that mean anything right now? Not really, because we know WWE is going to be making a heavy play for them. We've seen them with their new deal in Japan, which we've seen. Uh, Keiji Muto at every opportunity hype up WWE hype up Nakamura and there have been references or believed references that Nakamura has made to Okada now here for several months so Tom now that you're back here you know uh, really the the biggest questions when it comes to most of the people listening right now one of the biggest questions is where do you think Okada is going to go and I mean, obviously, give give some of your thoughts and opinions on, on Okada, and you know, what I mean, considering that only one of us has shared the ring with him, you know, you know, you probably have a better perspective than I do on some of this. No, Mike, there's not much more that I can say that hasn't already been said about the guy. One of the top talents of all time when it comes to professional wrestling, and I think he's just stealing a play out of his former chaos stablemate members playbook Shinsuke Nakamura as you mentioned and moving on to a different role I guess you could say as a professional wrestler and not one that's going to carry a company in Japan uh, I think it's one of these situations where it's now or never for Okada if he's going to come to the U.S. and 
The time is now. Do you have a thought either way? And, and look, it doesn't matter. I mean, we're just all speculating here anyway, kind of flipping a coin. Obviously, both AEW and WWE both provide you know, great opportunities and options to him as a human being, as a employee, as a professional wrestler, you know, obviously quite distinct things in some cases. If you just had a gun held to your head right now and were forced to make a decision, where do you think he'll end up? Do you think we see him in Greensboro alongside Will Ospreay and Sting? Or do you think we may see him show up at the WrestleMania? I think he's going to NXT. I think he's mm. a big he's a big fan of CW Frog <laughs> and he's waiting for that deal to kick in. I think you he's know, going to, I think he's going to WWE. I didn't think he was going anywhere to be honest after really? President Hiroshi Tanahashi stepped forward. I thought that that was an effort to keep him. It appears that either was too little or too late. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.